Welcome to Yukon Valley, Chichiko. From up here, you're able to see almost the entire reserve. This looks like the spot to set the plane down. I'll pull up to the jetty and you can climb out. Now, good luck to you out there. Don't forget, I'm only a radio call away. I'm quite certain that you're the part of the puzzle that we've been missing out here. While I have to deal with paperwork and people, you're going to be my eyes and ears on the ground. We're going to be a strong team. I just know it. Well, welcome, folks, to Yukon Valley. Yes. You see, pick up. Enjoy your time out in reserve. Confident that someone of your ability will find their way around, no problem. I look forward to seeing the results of your hunt. <laughs> Since you've just arrived, there's a couple of places nearby that I'd like you to visit. You can probably see the lookout tower just up the hill from where I dropped you off. If you climb to the top, you'll get a great view of the surrounding area. There's also an outpost close to the tower. It's always good to know where you can rest your head after a day's work, right? Head to the outpost to make sure it's ready to receive visitors. I don't mind which one you travel to first, but I'd like you to stop off at both sites. All right. Are you done talking to us now? So, yes, we are visiting Yukon Valley today. Yes, we are still going to play on Layton Lake. Uh, that's kind of our starting point. However, we're just taking a break from that map and coming to this one to have an episode. So, for those that aren't aware, your character transfers from map to map. Or from reserve to, zer to reserve, I should say. So we're still the same level, still have the same amount of money, everything is still the same. It's just we're on a different map. So we're, we've are we just visited a new hunting location, basically. And we have story missions and stuff that we can do on this one. So that is what we are doing this episode. I thought it was time just to take a break from Leighton, just to see what's going on on the rest of the game. And kind of give us a good outlook. So... We have to visit the nearby lookout tower and the, visit the new outpost. So, we will do that. I don't see anything. I guess there's no, like, tutorial animal to kill on this map. I have visited this map on my own personal account. The one that I'm not recording game footage for. This account is strictly for just recording game footage. I don't really play this one at all off camera. So... What you see is what you get with this one. We've had quite a good luck on the series so far, so we're just going to continue trucking forward. So we'll probably do a few episodes on Yukon Valley, and we'll introduce the other maps as well. And we'll just switch between them and do story missions and stuff like that while traversing all the maps. Uh, I have most of the maps, I think, with the exception of... Silver Ridge Peak, I think, is one of them. And there's one more I don't think I have. Other than that, I have the rest. I have Medvav. I have Parquet Fernando. Uh, so, yeah, I have the majority of the rest. This is one of my favorite maps out of all of them, if not the, the most favorite map that I like on this game. So, we're going to go up and get this lookout tower. And then we'll move on to the outpost. And hopefully we'll see some wildlife action today where we can actually take some shots. I don't even know what I have equipped for firearms. Let's take a look here. I can tell that I have not done a lot of missions on this for a while. Okay, so we're going to move some stuff around. We're going to move this up to here. This up to here. And that's kind of how I like stuff set up. So it looks like we have a 30 out 6 and we have a crossbow currently equipped. I don't know why it won't let me put that away, but 
Okay, now we're back in business. Once you're up top, enjoy the view. These towers are used mostly for fire watch duties. But when I'm at the top of one, normally I just want to put my feet up and enjoy the tranquility. I haven't had a chance to do that in a long time, though. All right. One thing to complain about is the talking. There's a lot of talking sometimes on these maps, and it comes in randomly. So... It like interrupts me when I'm talking. You're at the top. Can you see the outpost from there? I normally do a oh, yeah. we check see it right down an there. outpost after we've had visitors. All it takes is a forgotten half-eaten sandwich, and suddenly you have curious animals coming to investigate. Bears are temperamental neighbors, and you don't want them knocking on the door asking to borrow some sugar. Let's see if we have any wildlife at all around. I don't see a lot of stuff close like that. But a lot of times over in like these areas, we will see something. All right, we'll continue to the outpost. Welcome to Logger's Point. A hundred years ago or so, felled trees would be dragged down there. Then teams would strip them down and roll them into the river. Then they'd be bundled up and towed out to the sawmills. The outpost sits on top of the old workers' campsite. I know it might seem trivial, but can you take a look at the trash can and make sure that it's locked? It's a bear-proof trash can with a tricky catch. I don't want to take any chances. Okay. People often struggle to lock these heavy-duty trash cans. But if they leave it just a little bit open, all sorts of trouble can come sniffing around. I think we got lucky this time. All right, so we Thanks got the first outpost done. Oh, one last thing. Before you move on, can you take a look at the firewood inside the cabin? I love the inspirational music that we get. Alright, let's head in here. Go take a look at the firewood, he said. Damn, this is bad news. These logs have all the signs of a beetle infestation. Let me see if I can check in with the hunters who must have cut the firewood. I have the number for their satellite phone in the log somewhere. I'll get back to you. All right, so we got... I, I just found the number. I knew I had it here somewhere. I'll give the hunters who stayed here a call and see what they have to say. I'll call you back in a moment after I've landed. So we got plenty of ammo on us now. Let's, we got 30 out 6 polymer tips, which are going to be good for the majority of what we need. I think we are going to take our crossbow off though. No answers from the hunters yet. I'll keep trying. There's an think... outpost in the forest to your northwest. If you follow the trail, you'll find it. I have a hunch that, oh, phone's ringing. I'll call you back when I get some answers from these guys about where they cut the wood. Please don't. Head to the forest outpost in the meantime. I'll bet that's where they were. Okay, so we're going to haul our tree stand out for now. And I think what I find is most useful is the tripods. So we have plenty of ammo. Oh, I didn't put the crossbow back. I want to I want to put the crossbow back and bring the 243 with us because that gives us more variety in what we can shoot. So let's put that back. Bring the 243. So that'll take care of the red foxes and we can use that on most deer and everything too. I've gotten a little bit more confidence in it from playing on my own a little bit, so 
There we go. We got a deer bleat. Most of this stuff is not going to do us any good right here. Um, we'll leave the deer bleat on. I don't think there's anything really to hunt with deer bleat though, so we'll unequip that for now. We'll move this up. And we will put our tripod down here. So. And we got a little bit of a trek to make. So our mission now is... Oh, it looks like we got a perk point too. Travel to Woodsman's Respite or whatever that is. He probably said it and I just didn't hear him. Let's put our perk point on. So we got a few things we can do. I really want to work on this short range zero. Uh, decrease duration before you need to exhale. I think... Hmm. This is where it gets tricky. Decrease wobble when in aim mode using any weapon. That's very beneficial too. Like almost all of these. Increase ready speed when firing all weapons. I think we're going to do that one though. Holding our breath and making precise shots are going to be really helpful. Almost everything that we could have unlocked unlocked right there would have been very helpful anyway. So we might as well have just done that one. I want to look at this bank over here because we're going to be walking a good distance. And we might just take our time and see what we come across and see if there's anything that we can hunt. So yeah, we're going to be moving towards that marker over there and do this mission and hopefully get some level ups. I'm level 7 now with 23,000 $23, dollars, which is not too bad. We're saving up for a better optic. Two trivial moose down here. I can almost ooh wait, there is another one behind that. Oh I see is I see the rack. So there's another one there with them, but I can't quite get a a glimpse of him. What was that? Red Fox warning call. Oh, I'm right downwind of them, too. We're going to try to move in, see if we can get a shot on the mail. I'm going to spray this. I don't know if it'll help, because we're moving right in the wind of them. Oh, boy. Looks like three females and a bowl down there. We definitely, I think we might be able to get a better angle just by doing what we're doing. Ooh, he's gonna be in the, still in a bad angle, but a doable angle, I think. Oh yeah. If I can expose just behind that front shoulder, we're going to have this shot made. Level 3, easy. Ooh, I think I can get that heart shot right there. I could go for a long, but you got to go through that shoulder. 30-06 has enough power to do that, but I think I will be better off. Hitting it right there. 
Take a shot on the female too. Take another shot on one. Let's go down and survey the damage. What a way to start off our Yukon Valley trip if we can get a if we got a good shot off on him. Is this a run? That's a trot. I think they were a little bit back this way. Ooh. No organ hit. No organ hit. I don't know if I hit the same one twice or not. Head back this way. Very low bleed rate. I shot the other female right here somewhere. I'm pretty confident I got a good shot on her, which would be that mark. And they'll probably stick right together. There's a female. One of them. There could be multiple out here. Decent amount of money. Oh, that's a grizzly bear. We tagged it. I don't know if it's enough to take it down, but... Already bustling with wildlife out here. Okay, how fresh is this? Fresh, okay. This is our recent tracks. I'm not seeing any more blood from this moose. I'm going to guess that the damage that we did wasn't enough. Let's go see what kind of shot we got off on him. He's right there. Alaskan grizzlies are the most intimidating creatures I've ever encountered. The first time I spotted one, I instinctively checked my rifle was loaded, just in case it charged. It was over 200 yards away. There it is. I think we got a good right behind the shoulder shot on that this time. I don't know if it'll charge, but we gotta go check that spot out because I am fairly confident that we hit this one in good shape that time. So our first, oh, and he is down right there. Our first catch was a female moose. Our second was a grizzly bear. Of all things, getting on this new map, we got a great big grizzly bear. Look at that. All right, let's claim this. It's only a bronze. It looks like we got a right lung liver shot the second one. The first one, we only got a flesh but it's still going to be almost a thousand dollars cash. Look at that thing. Great big grizzly. I don't think we're going to taxidermize it just because it's not really that great of one. It's only at level two. But that's okay. What a catch. Okay, we're actually going to check this waterway real quick and then we'll continue on to our objective. There's another moose. 
Looks like she's by herself. Let's take her. That was a shoulder hit with this one. It should be enough to take her down. I said should. Keyword. If it missed the scapula and went through and hit the lung, it should be enough to take her down. We'll see. Oh, look at just this beautiful area out here. Oh yeah, that's definitely a lung hit. That's a vital organ. She's down probably just up here in the woods. Oh, there she is. Might as well take her too, as long as she stays there long enough. Oh, that might have been really low. Yeah, I think that was really low. Can you see any blood? There she is. I'm guessing right lung. Yep, flesh and right lung. Just a level one. Still some money in our pocket. All right, let's continue to this outpost, and that's pretty decent hunting day, I think. Two female moose, a grizzly. Took a shot at the male moose. We probably should have got a better lineup on it. That's my bad. I'm not disappointed, but it would have been nice to get a better shot off on it. it is what it is. Let's continue to the outpost, and... Oh, is that something right there? No, it's just a tree. Just a branch. Let's continue to the outpost and probably end the episode there. So let's get moving. Oh, man. That's almost way too easy to pass up. What do we got for yardage? 160. That's doable from here with a 30-06. can't really see its frame that one is perfect I think I got a good shot let's move in and see it looked right by the shoulder if I hit that female moose in the right lung I think I hit this these guys you got to be careful of, though, because sometimes they glitch and run right straight for you. Either that or they're just trying to charge you, but... I'm fairly confident that we got a good shot. He was standing still. It looked like I hit him right over the left shoulder. I'm fairly confident at that shot. But we're going to find out here in a second. Oh, yes, that is a good blood spot. That was a level 4 caribou. I keep saying we're going to end the episode, but jeez, I mean, you can't, you can't complain about these, okay, yeah, that's the right one, look at that caribou, oh man, that is beautiful, What a trophy. That is a silver 284 trophy rating. We got all the right stuff. It's the right weapon, bullet, everything. That's a good payout for it too. Excellent payout. Let me see. The trophy rating's 284. I think for caribou, 286 is gold. So we literally just missed it by a couple of points. This one was a troll for us, but that's a left scapula and a left lung. So that 30 out 6 at that range, if I had aimed a little bit to the left, it probably would have missed the lung. It probably would have hit the right lung, but it would have gone right straight through and probably hit the left, maybe the right too. 
I don't know. I was thinking on taxidermizing this because it's still a pretty decent caribou. I don't think we're going to, though. We'll, we'll save it. We'll save it for now. We can always overwrite it if we end up with a better one. Oh. Wow. I don't know why I'm whispering. He can't hear me, but... Did I miss him? No. Well, I took two shots, three shots there. I think I was too close to the tree when I looked at my crosshairs just a second before I shot. I think I might have got too close to that tree and I missed him. Both of them ran down over here. This is this would be right about where I hit him that second time when I saw him running. It was a knee-jerk shot. I probably shouldn't have taken it. it. He'll probably still go down, but... I mean, overall, it's more money. I took a shot at both, but... He'll probably still go down. It'll be more money. It wasn't a good vital organ hit. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm moving out here to the open. Ooh, they are glitching out really bad. I think I might have hit him again. <gasps> That's an albino. I think we lost the albino, the albino caribou and the whole pack, really. Which is fine. Well, we know they're here, so we'll come after them next time. I don't have any problem with hunting down some caribou. One thing that we need to start getting now is calls that will benefit us in hunting. I don't think... I think we collected everything that I had over there. A blood spot that we were following kind of ended, so I don't think we got a good enough shot. I figured it would probably still go down, but caribou are a little bit tougher than like white tail and black tail. If you get a bad shot on those, a lot of times they'll still go down. But all right, let's head up here. We got 300 yards till we reach where our objective was, and yeah, hope hopefully we'll come across something. But if we don't, I'd call that a pretty successful hunting day. Caribou, grizzly, moose. I mean, that's what this map is going to be. And then we can start doing like some signature hunts per episode. Maybe like caribou hunts. And even some multiplayer stuff eventually. Of course, like I said, your characters um, basically will transport through multiplayer, single player, all the maps. So if we add a map here and there to keep things fresh, that'll be good and we'll go back to Leighton Lake at some point and visit there again work on a few missions or something but for now we are on Yukon Valley and we made it pretty lucky today so yeah let's get to the objective and that'll probably do it for this episode hey I see you're near the forest outpost once you get up there take a look in the cabin there should be a backpack with some supplies in it when you find it, just grab the whole pack. Alright. Well, this looks like another outpost. So we are here. We'll claim this. Finish off this mission. And then I'll do it. you're done at the outpost take a look in the surrounding forest can you find any fallen trees in that area ah the spruce bark beetles are a massive threat to alaska's spruce forests at the moment we haven't been hit as badly compared to some other alaskan state parks 
but I think that it may be time for a quarantine. Okay, so once you find a fallen tree, I want you to take a look at its bark. Does it look healthy? If so, it's probably not the tree we're looking for. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me here on this episode six of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Only we are now on Yukon Valley instead of late, late, in, late in Lake for this episode anyway. We will be going back. We will be visiting other maps at some points too just to do some stuff. But take a look at this place and how beautiful it is. I'm so excited to continue playing on this map. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on APN Gaming for another The Hunter Call of the Wild episode. We will see you guys next time.